Welcome to the second episode of this true series. Today we will create a database including tables and columns, but first we will talk about what are databases, columns and tables. This is a schema. Schema is a collection of different tables. Every table represents data collections in form of records, so every row in a table is a record. A table contains different columns. Every column represents an attribute of the record. And a column got a special type. So, for example, if you want to store a string, a date or simply an integer. So, what we first need to do is creating a schema. In my SQL, this is done with the command create. Then you can choose between schema or database. Schema is just an alias for database. But we will use database here because this can be used in mostly every other SQL language as well. After this, we write our database name. So this is the name you can see here. We will call it GTube DB. Every SQL statement ends with a semicolon. To execute this, you can press either this bold icon or simply press STRG enter. So down here you got an output. This is some kind of a log where you see the executed the command create database gtdb, which was successfully executed. So we refresh this one and we see our database was successfully created. And if we open it, we see tables, views, everything is empty. So what we need to do is create a table for our database. To create a table or even work with a schema, we need to select the schema. Otherwise, we would have to write gtubedb dot for every table name we want to access. To select a database, we write use and the name of our database, which is gtubedb. Execute this. See, it's got successfully executed, and in the MySQL workbench, you see this is printed bold here. So you see this is our current selected schema. Next we create a table. If you create a table you can already pass all the columns in it. Now we will create a table. To create a table we write create table and now we enter our table name which we will call color because we want to store different colors in this table. If you create a table you need to at least pass one primary key column to your table. So we will pass our columns directly in this create table statement. We use a bracket and now we write our column name which we call ID. After this we will tell MySQL which data type we want to choose. There are different data types for example uh, the most likely ID is an integer, which is used as int. Now we can pass some definitions for this column. So we can say this column may never be null. So we short so we write not null because it's primary key and we don't want to care about it. We write auto increment. So every time we insert a data record, it will be automatically increased. And as I said before, this is our primary key. We close the bracket, so this is our first field. We also want to add the second field, so we use a comma. And the same as before, we write our column name first, so this will be name first. So this will be color name. Next one is our data type, which is varchar. Varchar is a data type to, to store a string, and for varchar you can define specific length with a number in the brackets. You can say this should be 50 chars long or you can reduce it to even 10. We will add not null on this one as well and we will close the bracket as well as setting the semicolon. So in some editors you now get a highlighting for where you got a syntax error. So here I did a mistake and used an underscore but primary key will be separated by in space. So we execute this command. It was successfully executed and now I refresh the overview and as you can see we got a color table. When we 
check this we see the table got an ID field and a color name so if we want to check that all these parameters were correctly used in our table we can click right on the table say auto table and we get a graphical overview of what columns the table consists. So we see we added the primary key set both are not allowed to be null and our primary key is also auto incremented. If you don't have this overview in your SQL editor you can also use the command show columns from and this will be your table we just created so this is color and we execute this getting a result where we see this is our ID field, type integer, not null, primary key, and auto incremented. Now we will create a second table, which is done just like our previous table, but now we need to choose a different table name because every table name can only appear once in a schema. Over different schemas, you can use the same table name over and over again. That's no problem. If you don't use the use command at the start, you have to write g2db dot your column name, so the new column name you want to create. So this will be clothes. I just write the g2db dot clothes because I want to show an example on how to access table columns from a schema you didn't have selected. So if you used use gtubedb, you don't need this. Again we use a bracket. Setting an ID, this time it will be again an int, not null, auto increment, primary key, as well as a new property which is the unique property. Unique is not directly needed here because we already got our primary key which has to be unique as well, but unique would say if you add another ID with the same number, it would not allow to insert this record. We will also use the unsigned as well duplicated because we use auto increment and auto increment will start from one incrementing over and over again so it would never be a negative ID but you could manually insert an ID so this will prevent from inserting a negative ID. We add again a clothes name which is a watcher 50 and as we see here I did another mistake this is not just unique it's called a unique key and the unsigned has to be at the integer now we will do something new we will create a reference field here referring to a color I will show you how to connect those fields of the tables in another tutorial but we will do we will do the preparation right here so this will be called ID color which has to be an int we say it's not null so every clothes has a color and we close the bracket we execute this command refresh this here and we see we got a new table with three columns so this is all we need I will put those SQL statements into the description and if you have any questions write a comment I hope I see you soon